Okay, let's go ahead and set up the dimensions. And I want to remind you again as this is loading up that this is not going to be the same numbers that you have. I use different dimensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the sheet size to a size paper so we can actually print it. Otherwise, it's too big for our printer. We're also going to change the ANSI large to ANSI A. And we're going to put on our bases here. Um, we're going to start with part one. And let's go with the half scale. Okay, so this is the best front view. I'm going to space the other ones out pretty far so they don't run into each other. And say OK. And we are going to use annotate baseline dimensions. Dimension from here to here to here. Right click and say continue. And those will put in the dimensions for us. We can also do the same thing from here to here. Although I don't know. Yeah, it will help me. Oh, they got rid of the other one. Okay. All right. Let's try it one more time. Baseline. Click. 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 Right click. Continue. Right click. Create. You have to tell it to create afterwards. Okay. And back to baseline again. We're going to choose these lines in order over here. Create and baseline one more time from there to there to there. Continue and create. Okay, so these are all of the width dimensions and the depth dimensions. We're still missing height dimensions. So let's go back to baseline. Select all of my height dimensions and say continue. I go until it just snaps into place. Right click and say create. And notice we're supposed to have aligned dimensions. That means that these are going up and down, but they don't yet. So I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to select all of my dimensions that should have that. That's going to include my 3 and my 2.5 and, and my 1 if it'll let me. Okay. I have them all selected. Right click. Go down to New Dimension Style text and we're going to change this vertical one to be inline and it didn't select the one so I'm just going to choose that one all by itself new dimensioning style text and make sure that's also inline okay so that's the first part and you can put your name on this we also need to make this shaded so I double click on the red box I check the shaded box and say okay and there we are good to go Make sure you put your name on this, go back to place views, and we're getting a new sheet. Now for number two, it wants a uh, chain dimension and unidirectional dimensioning. So we're going to go to base and pick part number two. And notice that for me, my sheet stayed the correct size. And... Um, my title block is the correct size. It's because this is still part of the same project. I can still go back and see sheet one and see sheet two. And for chain dimensioning, when you go to annotate, they do have a chain dimensioning option. So I can click on this and go click, 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 same as with datum or baseline. Say continue. And there's my chain dimensions. And it'll snap in place where it's in a nice place. And I forgot to hit create, so it's going to mess up just a little bit on me. Nope, too much. Okay, let's try it one more time. Chain dimensioning, you click on, for example, all of your heights, say continue. We'll snap that into place over here. Don't forget to right click and say create, otherwise you'll end up like Mr. Thorne. Go to chain dimensioning again. We'll pick all of these, continue place them, right click create, so I have all the heights, I have most of the widths, I'm still missing down here, um, the distance from here to here, and I'll just go until that snaps into place as well, and I should have this dimension, 
that's important to know how far over that goes and how big this is. I don't need this because I have this. And also, if you remember correctly, they said whenever we're doing chain dimensioning, we should have one overall dimension. So we'll put one of these in, and we'll just snap it to the first thing that's up above it. We will delete this one and a half because it's messy anyway. Now we have to leave the one and a half. We'll delete the two. And we'll go from top to bottom like that. Huh. Well, I don't especially like the fact that it has these little round things instead of arrows, but I think that's showing that it's links in a chain. I might get rid of it. And let's get rid of these two. Well, that was a nice thought that we could use chain dimensioning, but I don't like mixing the arrowhead styles. So we're going to do this. Um, there it snaps. It's not going to snap anymore, is it? Well, let's get it close. We'll move that up. Okay. And we'll dimension from side to side here. So we have all the widths, we have all the heights. Uh, let's do one depth. And these are unidirectional, so this part is also done. Make sure you put a label on it, and I'll do a new video.